Welcome to another exciting episode of Doug's Electronic Repair Bench. Good afternoon, YouTube. I'm here with you on this. Uh, actually, this is a Thursday afternoon. I forgot to do the uh, intro for the uh, next set of uh, video clips that you're going to see. So I'm not going to say too much. It's just going to, you know what it's, it's like. We've done this before. So we're going to get right into it and see what we've got going. Hey, right, what I've done here is to turn around the heat sink where it uh, goes the other way now. Everything will fit fine. Um, just to go in there where it needs to go. I think it'll work out just fine. So that takes one load off my mind. And we'll get uh, some more done here as soon as uh, I get this next batch going. I think I'm going to do the uh, LED next. So we'll get that done and be back in a bit. Ah, I'm back one more time here, YouTube. I have the uh, couple of wires done on the uh, Molex connector. The uh, ones that go to the transformer. Um, I still don't have these done. Uh, these are the uh, for the uh, output. I'll pretty much have to wait until um, this part's done before I can put these on this is going to go in here before I can hook this up so I think that's enough room I think that should be plenty uh, probably try to put about the same amount on the other um, connector other end so I think it'll work real good so that's going to do it for now I don't know if we'll be back this evening or not I still have to go get Lexi uh, in about a half hour or so so I may work on a little bit more. I can probably put the uh, outputs in and I probably could, well, I don't, I don't want to put that output in until I get the, um, the uh, thing for the mounting the LED because I want to get that in there before I'll know how far to run these things and things like that. So that's the, the, the way that's going to work. I, I do got to put another Oh, you're not seeing what I'm seeing. You should better look through this way. Okay, I, I do need to put another wire on the switch to uh, go to the uh, connector. So that'll be for one of the uh, ones that's already done there. And the other one will come from this part here on the, on the uh, receptacle. So that's got to be done too so hmm those two things of course then we're going to be on the other end of the uh, the other connector for the uh, Molex connector so anyway that's uh, stuff I probably can do I may do I don't know we'll see be back in a bit ah morning YouTube I'm here with you on this uh, Thursday morning uh, I'm going to run a little test on this uh, circuit that I built here here. This one here. Have the AC connected to the AC of the rectifier. Have the DC part connected to my meter. And I just have it hooked up to the Variac now. I'll put 13 volts in which will simulate the uh, output of the uh, transformer. And uh, that should give us a good idea of what the output voltage is going to be. Having on the 20 volt range. Let's turn this around a little bit. See a little bit better that way. Get the glare off of it. There we go. Alright, let me turn this Variac on and see what we get out, get out of this. Get some of this stuff out of the way. I got so much crap in the way, it's pathetic. <clears throat> Dial up. What'd I say? 13 volts. Uh, 
All right, there's 13.4. That's a pretty good number. As you can see, we have 18.2423, whatever, out. That should give us uh, above our threshold uh, of the uh, 14 volts, I think, that's necessary for the uh, regulator to work. So everything seems to be functioning fine. Um, I may just leave this run a while and see what happens and make sure nothing's going to cook. I'd like to run into the transformer, but I can't even got anything that'll let me plug into this. I've got to find the other end of the uh, connector here so I can get use this this here to uh, to do it. I may try to find one of those and come back and do it again. So. Anyway, for now, 13.5 in, 18.23 out. That's a good indication everything's going to be fine because I got uh, it running at 120 volts. I got 13.6 out originally of the transformer. So that should be a good indication everything will be hunky dory. I was going to say I'm going to see if the uh, transformer is warming up, but it's not even hooked up. <laughs> uh, I got Lexi dropped off, so. Uh, I'll have until 5 o'clock to play around with this stuff, so that'll be good. So I'll come back again when I get this uh, transformer hooked up, if I can find the, the necessary leads for it. So we'll be back. Now I'm back again. Out of the uh, ones I found, I'm going to say this is probably the uh, least uh, one that would least be missed. I had a couple of these that go to uh, SATA connectors. And uh, I don't like to, to ruin those because I'm always looking for those when I work on computers. So this one is a basically an external hard drive power supply uh, connection right there on the outside. That's, that would hook to the back of the computer and uh, gives you, uh, you're can able to uh, hook up a, a SATA drive to these and that's the power. So. Um, that is about it. So I'm going to take this one and cut that there, about there, somewhere around there. And uh, that's the one I will be using. So that's the uh, that's the end I need. Right there. Am I getting this on the... Right there. Yeah, there you go. So let me get this done. We'll come back after I get some more done. All right, we've got the... Uh, uh, device is hooked up now with the connector to where it goes through the transformer and I've still got it hooked up to the uh, variac so we're going to use that to crank the voltage up to 120 and we will see firsthand exactly what we get out of this thing now you can see there's still 16.86 on the uh, those capacitors have not uh, drained. I can drain them pretty quick if I want. So we'll do that real quick. Get a little pop out of it. And not bad. So there we go. That's drained. I'll leave that on there just in case. And, uh, like I say, let me crank the uh, voltage up a little bit. Or actually turn it on and crank it up, I should say. So, there's 113, 118, 120. Alright, again, same, same thing, basically. you got the... Uh, 18.12 uh, this is coming through the transformer now a little transformer and I want to leave that run just for a little bit and what I want to do is I'm going to put a load across this and we're going to see how well it stays uh, a lot of times uh, the uh, what we get out of the uh, transformer is doesn't always, you know, once you put a load on it, it may drop down. That's what I'm saying. 
So I want to figure out what to put on. I want to simulate about an amp of draw across that. So uh, let me get back. Uh, let me figure that up, which resistor I need, and, and uh, I'll get back with you. So stay tuned for the next part. I'm back with you one more time to uh, show you what I got here. I got 120 volts going into the uh, uh, transformer. Uh, don't have. Let's see. Let me, let me shut this off just a second. I have roughly 18 volts output, as you can see on the meter. And then when I hook up this little fan. So you can see it drops down to 15.3. Now this little fan says, of course it's a 12 volt fan, and it says it draws uh, 0.11 amps, would be 110 milliamps of current. Now 110 or 100 milliamps is what the uh, transmitter is going to be drawing, uh, apparently according to what it says. So I'd say that's going to be pretty cutting it pretty close as far as uh, of course it, I haven't went to the regulator yet but if it draws the unregulated voltage down three volts well two and a half then uh, yeah I think it's that may, may work all right I do believe I couldn't find anything uh, heavier than that I tried to drill um, I couldn't even get the drill to spin it would just it, the voltage would go down to nothing so that the, the transformer is not heavy enough for that for sure so I think what we're going to do here is call that good and we will, oh, let me do this first, I want to take this down all the way, I don't like leaving the voltage on there if I can help it, so we'll drain it off with the fan. So done that now. And uh, so that should be good. Like I said, that's I can't can't find too much complaint about there. It's it's got to be at least 14 something to to work with the regulator. So I don't think it'll drop down enough with that AM transmitter. So that's where I'm at with that. Uh, I think that's enough testing done on that. Um, I haven't checked the mail yet. I'm supposed to have a heat gun out there. Uh, I just haven't gone out to do it yet. I've got to get Lexi in less than two hours, so uh, may do it. I don't know yet. But I just wanted to wrap this up with this part. I think I don't think I'm coming back again on this video. I may. I may. I, I, I still got this. Uh, what do you call it to hook up? I've got to hook that uh, up to the uh, other end of the switch. So that I can use, uh, I, I want to get a, a, a decent, uh, well, you know what I mean, a decent uh, length to where I can I can get these things connected and it'll, you know, but I, I won't be able to at least, ba you know, tilt it back like that so I can unplug it and then take it off. Uh, you guys probably wouldn't even see what I was looking at, would you? I doubt it very much. I want on this here, I want to be able to, you know, lift the lid up a little bit, tilt it back, and then unplug it, and then that lid, the, the lid will lift off. Uh, so I, I, don't want to, I don't want to get it so close that, you know, I can't even get it up enough to unplug it. But uh, the connector itself is going to work fine. But it's just a matter of, and I don't want too much uh, space there because, you know, if you do that, then... Then you've got all these wires to contend with, so, you know, it's kind of a catch-22, I guess, but, anywho, that's what I'm doing today, um, I, I, like I said, I've, I've got the mail to check yet, the, the uh, regulators could be in there, it's, it's a possibility, so, I bought, I found these screws over when I was looking for the, uh, for the, um, connector, they were in a computer box, so they'll come in handy or something, I'm sure. So, get them over there. Alright, like I said, I'm going to get off here. I'm yabber, yabber, yabber. Here, four minutes and something on this little thing. 
So let me, I probably won't come back because I, I, I get to talk too much. Let me do the, uh, the last part of this and we'll be done. All right, what, what you've seen here is the, um, the testing of the uh, transformer, basically, is what I was testing. Um, that works fine. Does At 100 milliamp, it does drop down a little bit, which, you know, it should drop down some. Um, I think the uh, it's fine for what I want it for. I, think, I don't think I'm going to be able to power too much more than what uh, I've got it designed for, actually. But I went ahead and used the big uh, rectifiers. It's no big deal on that either, so... Actually, I think it takes up less room than the four diodes would, so probably was a blessing in disguise. So, you guys, um, I don't want to make this long thing here. Um, probably, I've got to go to the doctor in the morning, so I'm hoping to get this posted before I leave and uh, give you something to look at. Um, this doctor appointment is an hour each way, so it takes a while to do it. Um, it's my rheumatologist in Greenwood, Indiana. That's where it's at. So, um, anywho, um, I guess that's about it. I'm trying to think. I do have the, the heat gun. I think I mentioned that uh, is in the mail today. It's out in the box right now. I just haven't went out and got it. Um, that's going to be coming up. I need some batteries for. It. I think it takes AAA. I think. I have to double check, make sure. So when I get Lexi, I'll just come by the dollar store and pick up some batteries. And that'll do that. And then uh, I think that's about it. Pretty much sure that's about it. <laughs> uh, you guys have a great day. Thanks so much for watching and staying with me for this long, long series. <laughs> um, so I will appreciate you watching and talk to you later. See ya.